waits for some time and another time it's gone. When someone offends you, because this feeling of human being, you will love someone to be cherishing you. You my darling, you are so beautiful, you know that and that. It's because you have that feelings. You want to hear that only. And the day I'm not going to tell you that, you will be offended. And you forget that you have that love. And then you fight. You will forget about the love we have. We share you and I. But the love we are talking about here, the true love is not to have love. Is to be loved. You don't have to be loved. Hallelujah. Amen. When you become loved, you are something else. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. This love is a different love. You have to become loved. Not to, to have love. Because when you become loved, But if you have love, when I say something to hurt you, you say, ah, what do you think about yourself? Why are you, you usually you think you are only afraid of your mouth? If you are my sister, you don't have the right to talk to me like that. You will be mad more than the, the, the person who offended you. Hallelujah. I'm not going to take much time there. I want uh, today we are going to see what happened when you become love. Amen. Leo sitaongelea mengi huko lakini nataka leo tuangalie nini ambayo inafanyika wakati wa upendo. Amen. What happened when you become love? Nini ambayo inafanyika wakati unakuwa upendo? I'm waiting for more pastor. Let's see how he's going to write that. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. What happened when you become love? What happened? Before we speak anything, let's go read. Come to your church to show me. We are going in Jeremiah. We are going to read in Jeremiah chapter 31, verse 15. Let's go quick, quick, quick. Tasoma Yeremia salasina moja. Jeremiah 31 verse 15. Yeremia salasina moja, mstari wa 15. Biblia nasema. Mm. Bwana asema hivi. Mm -hmm. Sauti imesikiwa rama. Kilio na maombolezo mengi. Rahei akiwalilia watoto wake asikubali kufarijiwa kwa watoto wake kwa kuwa hawako. Amen. Amen. In English, please. The Bible says. Yes. This is what the Lord says. This is what the Lord says. A voice is heard in Rama. A voice is heard in Rama. Wait. This was the prophet Jeremiah. Uyu ni Nabi Yeremia. He was prophesying the things which will come. Alikuwa anatabiri mambo yatakayofanyika. About the son of God. Kwa ajili ya mwana wa Mungu. Who is going to come? Yule ambaye atakuja. Who is going to arise? Yule ambaye atafika. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Who is going to arise to save our lives? Yule ambaye atakayekuja kuokoa maisha yetu. Who is going to come? Who is going to, to come to save your life? Yes, let's continue, Mama. Morning and great weeping. Morning and great weeping. Kilio na maombolezo mengi. Rachel weeping for her children. Rachel weeping for her children. Raheli akiwalilia watoto wake. And refusing to be comforted. And refusing to be comforted. Asikubali kufarijiwa. 
Because her children are no more. Because her children are no more. Kwa sababu watoto wako hawako tena, watoto wake hawako tena. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. This prophet, huyu nabii, he was prophesying about the arrival of Jesus. Alikuwa anatabiria kuja kwa Yesu Kristo. The way he was coming to save our life. Jesus alikuwa anakuja kuokoa maisha yetu. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. The Bible says. Biblia inasema. Rachel was mourning. Kwamba Rahel alikuwa analia. She was mourning. Alikuwa analia. If you read properly you start uh, from somewhere and go down. Ukianza kusoma kuanzia juu na shuka. This is the, the, the story of Jesus. Hii ni habari ya Yesu. When Herod heard about Jesus. Wakati Herod alisikia kuhusu Yesu. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. The Bible says. Biblia inasema. This lady was crying. Let's kwamba, me, let me go this way first. Huyu mama alikuwa analia. She cried and mourning. Alikuwa analia na kuboleza. And she refused to be to become to be comforted. Na kufarijiwa because she has bitterness in her kwa sababu ana uchungu she has lost what she was she, she was having kwa sababu alipoteza kile ambacho alikuwa nacho she lost what she, the precious things she had kwa sababu alikuwa alipoteza kile ambacho alikuwa nacho she lost the precious children what she had alipoteza mtoto wake wa pekee aliyekuwa nayo this was a prophecy hii ilikuwa ni utabiri let's see this prophecy is if it had happened tuangalie kama huu nabii ulifanyika we are going to read in Matthew Tasoma katika Mathayo Matthew chapter 2 Mathayo sura ya 2 verse 16 to 18 Hallelujah Mathayo 2 16 hadi 18 Matthew chapter 2 verse 16 to 18 the Bible says Amen When Herod realized that he has been outwitted Ndipo Herod alipoona ya kuwa amedhakiwa by the magic na wale wa majusi he was furious and he gave orders to kill all the boys in the bethlehem aligadabika sana akatuma watu akawaua watoto wote wanaume walioko huko bethlehem and its vicinity who were two years old and under in accordance with the time he had learned from the magic Then what was said through the prophet Jeremiah was fulfilled. A voice is heard in Rama. Mm. Weeping and great mourning. Mm. Rachel weeping for her children. Mama Yaki, are you ready? Yes. Are you ready? Are you seriously you are ready? <laughs> ah. Start this that this. Start again. We shall start. Mm. When Herod realized that he has been outwitted by the magi. When Herod realized that he has been outwitted by the oh. Herod alipona ya kuwa amejakiwa na wale wa majusi. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Herod realized that. Herod aliona he has been out outwitted. Aliona kwamba amedhakiwa by the magi. Na wa majusi. Hallelujah. Amen. If you I went to do a research about how to find utafiti. The outwit is um is someone you use. You use your intelligence. Who use your intelligence or who is clever to trick you to defeat you. Or to gain advantage of your your presidency. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Can you can you can you explain that? Outwit is someone. Yaani kuziakiwa ni kitu is someone who use intelligence. Yaani ni ni kama mtu ambaye anatumia maarifa. Or someone who is clever. Au mtu ambaye ni mjanja. Who think you to defeat you. Yule ambaye anakudanganya ili aweze kushinda. So this man realized that. Kwa hiyo huyu mtu akaona hiyo. Let's continue. I think they are they have understood that. Nafikiria kwamba wamelewa hiyo. He was furious. Aligadabika. Uh-huh. And he gave orders to kill all the boys in Bethlehem. He gave the orders to kill all the boys in Bethlehem. Alitoa sheria ya kuwaua watoto wote wa 
kiume huko Bethlehemu and its vicinity who were two years old and under na viungani mwake wote tangu mwenye miaka miwili na waliopungua in accordance with the time he had learned from the magi kwa ule muda ule aliyowahakikisha kwa wale wa majusi then what was said through the prophet jeremiah was fulfilled aha ndipo nilipotimia neno lilionenwa na nabii yeremia akisema 18 Yes. A voice is heard in Rama. Sauti ilisikiwa Rama. Weeping and great mourning. Kilio na maombolezo mengi. Ah. Rachel weeping for her children. Daheli akiwalilia watoto wake. And refusing to be comforted. Asikubali kufarijiwa because they are no more. Kwa kuwa hawako tena. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. What was prophesied by the Jeremiah, prophet Jeremiah? Kila ambacho kilitabiriwa na nabii Yeremia has been fulfilled in Matthew chapter 2. Kilitimilika katika Mathayo sura ya 2. Hallelujah. Amen. What kind of prophecy do you search search all everywhere? Ni utabiri wa namna gani ambao unautafuta mahali pote? There is no great prophecy than the word of God. Hakuna utabiri mkubwa kama neno la Mungu. This is a great The great word when which papa pop brought to us is a great prophecy to us. Neno kubwa ambalo papa pop alituletea ndio utabiri mkubwa tuko nao. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I've been asking myself. Nilikuwa nikijiuliza peke yangu. Is there anywhere which the prophet was prophesying about having cars in the Bible? Je, kuna mahali ambapo manabii walitabiria kuwa na magari katika Biblia? You buy a new car. Oh, na kuona kinunua sisi kununua gari jipya. Go uh, going through another another level. Na kuona wakiana katika kwa hiyo. I'm giving you a prayer of getting in it at your work. Na kuona ukinunua katika kazi yako. Is there any prophecy in this Bible that like Je, kuna utabiri kama huo katika Biblia? Have you ever seen that? Je, ushawahi kuona utabiri wa that in the in your Bible? Ushawahi kuona utabiri wa hivyo katika Biblia yako? Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. The Bible says. Biblia nasema. This woman was crying. Baba, we mama alikuwa anaria. She was mourning. Alikuwa anaria. She refused anybody to comfort her. Alikataa mtu yeyote anayefarijishwa she was going through. Kwa sababu ya hali aliyokuwa anaishi. How to it feels to lose the child. Unajua namna gani inahisi kupoteza mtoto? Let not say the children. Tusiseme watoto. Hallelujah. Amen. The Bible says this woman loses her child. Biblia inasema kwamba huyu mama alipoteza mtoto. And after that they had the good news. Na baada ya hapo walisikia habari njema. The news but the way it came ilikuwa habari njema lakini si ndio kuja to break in their hearts. Ilikuja kuvuta. And they said there is a child. Na wanasema kwamba kuna mtoto. The son is coming to us. Kuna mwana ambaye anakuja kwa sisi. He's coming to save our life. Anakuja kuokoa maisha yetu. Who told you? when you take a good decision is is not going to be a uh, conflict to others ni nani aliyekuambia kwamba wakati unachukua uamzi mkubwa hautakuwa vita watu wengine hallelujah amen. hallelujah amen they had the news walisikia habari and this shall we save our life baba huyu mwana atakuwa baba yetu is coming to us baba huyu mwana anakuja kwetu atazaliwa This one is has come to save us. Sema huyu anakuja kutuokoa. Can you tell me? Je, unaweza kuniambia? Can you tell me? Unaweza kuniambia? Ukweli. Mama Nyaki. Mama Nyaki. I made you to go suffer through suffering. Nimekufanya upite mateso. And there's someone come you come, come to tell you. Na wengine anakuja kukuambia kwamba he's coming to save you in the suffering. He's coming to save you in that problem. Katika hayo mateso. I'm the one who, who provoked that problem. Mimi ni mimi ndio nileta hiyo shida. To save your life. Oh, please tafadhali what happened when you become 
loaves. Hallelujah. Amen. When you become loaves, there is no sweetness. Hakuna utamu. There is no happiness. Hakuna there is no enjoyment. Hakuna no one should lie to you. When you are alone, there is no enjoyment. Is suffering after suffering. There is people who stand, who stand to the social media. Oh, 
power. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. What kind of savior is this? What kind of savior can save the people and people more people can be dead? How can we call him? How can we call him? Is this a savior? Did he come to save us? You just tell me. Nambie. If your children have been caught in this problem, Kama mtoto wako they have died in this massacre. Katika they have died and I have come, I come to you. Na, yani and I have come to save us. Na and your children are already dying that's because of that song. Nyanze kwambia kwamba wamekuja kutukua na mtoto wako umeuawa huko. To get this news. Ni namna gani utachukulia hii habari? How are you going to compose yourself in this news? Utaishi kama namna gani hii habari? How are you going to take this news in your heart? Utaishi kama namna gani mbele hii habari? Are you going to love this song? Je, utampenda wa bwana? Au utaenda kumchukia? Amen. If it could be me and you, Kama mimi na wewe. our sons have been died in this situation. Watu hali. You forget that you have become, you have become love. Utasahau kama umesha kuwa upendo. You forget that you the kind of love I'm talking about here. Utasahau upendo na wewe. You have love. Kama uko na upendo. You forget that you have that love inside you. Utasahau kama uko na ule upendo na wewe. Your husband. Hata mume wako. He can do something you forget I'll forget about the 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 marriage ship. Motherhood we have. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. When you become love is something else. But when you have love, when you bring this news, you take it the way it is. You say no matter how bitter it is. What about you and I today? How are you going to take this news? Some people today, because of the situation they are going through, they forget that God is is alive. They forget that God is existing. They will be like ah. It's to me if you ask. If you ask him why, if you ask her why, they will tell you because why God is allowing good people to die. Why God is allowing my father, he allowed my father to die. My father was a good person. My sister, she was just young. She didn't have sin. Why this God is his alive? Why did he allow my sister to die? Is it your job to protect your sister? Is it your job to correct God? Is it your job to correct God? Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. People are denying God that it does not exist. People are saying that because of the situation. Let, let, but let me tell you today This love we are learning is another level When you get to this level Something else This is not the Hata kama huko katika hiyo hali ilikuwa imekatazwa au ni kitu 
mtu ambacho akiwezekana ilikuwa na ujauzito wakati haujakuwa na mume halisi amen yes hallelujah amen the pharisees was coming to look for mary wa farisayo walikuwa wanakuja kumtafuta maria this mary they they took him bakamkimbiza huyo maria they chased him
Hallelujah. Amen. If you read 2 Corinthians, wakati utasoma wa Corinthians, wa Corinthians wa pili. If you, you read in, in 2 Corinthians chapter 12, tukisoma katika Corinthians 1 to 12, but we are going to read just 9 and 10 to 10. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Second Corinthians. I want you to, to beautify this reading. I don't want you to narrate that you are reading a book of stories. Thank you. Mama yakira tega usome mzuri usome kama unasoma kitabu cha habari. Wa Korinto wa pili. Mm. Sura ya 12 mstari wa kwanza paka 12 lakini tunaruka tunaenda kwa mstari wa 8 paka 10 ah paka 10. So, wa Korinto wa pili 12 8 paka 10. The Bible says. Yes. But he said to them mm. to me. Sorry. Naya kaniambia my grace is sufficient for you. Ah. Neema yangu ya kutosha. My power is made perfect in weakness. Maana uweza wangu hutimilika katika udhaifu. Therefore I will boast all the more gladly about my weaknesses. Amen. Basi nitajisifia udhaifu wangu kwa furaha nyingi. So that the Christ power may may rest on me. Ili uweza wa Kristo ukae juu yangu. That is why kwa hiyo for Christ's sake I delight in weaknesses. Amen. In insults. Ah. In hardships. Mm. Amen. In persecution. Ah. In difficulty. Jesus. For when I am weak then I am strong. Amen. 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 Kwa hiyo, na pendezu wa na uzaifu, na ufiduli, na misiba, na uza, na shida, na ajili ya kristo, maana ni wapo zaifu, nipo, nilipo, na nguvu. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. This man of God. Uyumtumishi wa Mungu. He was having problem. Alikuwa na matatizo. It's not the problem of this this going around around. Sio haya matatizo ya kwenda pembeni. It's not the problem which you cannot see. Sio shida ambayo hauwezi kuona. Unaweza kaiona kweli. Alikuwa na kitu kwenye mgongo. Apostle Paul. Alikuwa na nyonjo. Mm, thank you mama. Niko it bossy, kabosi, hatchback. Aha. Thank you so much. This man of God had a hatchback. Kwa hiyo huyu mtumishi wa Mungu alikuwa na nyonjo. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. He was this man of God. He was powerful. Alikuwa mwenye nguvu. Apostle Paul was powerful. Paulo alikuwa na nguvu. I think everyone knows. Najua kila mtu anajua. He was he was speaking and what he he commanded that kila kitu kina kina obey. Whenever he commands, everything will happen. Because he was love. Kwa sababu alikuwa upe. He understood the situation. Alielewa hali. Hallelujah. Amen. The Bible says. Biblia nasema. He went in prayer. Alienda katika maoni. He started praying. Akaza kuomba. He prayed. Aliomba. And he went until to the level at a third heaven. Na akaenda katika mingu ya tatu. In prayer. Katika maoni. To get in third heaven. Katika mingu ya tatu. Kiwango cha tatu cha mingu. He left the Hallelujah. Amen. He prayed to God. Ali muamba mungu. Pray and cry. Ali muamba so kulia. So that God can heal him this. Ili mungu aweze kumponya. He was praying so that God can heal him by a hunchback. Ali kwa na muamba ili mungu aweze kumponya yuo nyonge. Hallelujah. Amen. But God. Na kiri mungu. Do you know the answer he got? Unajua jibu ali pata. You know the answer he got? Jibu ali ali pata. What? What the answer? My grace is sufficient to you. Nema yangu ya kosha kwako. Amen. Amen. My grace is sufficient to you. Nema yangu ya kosha kwako. That is the, the, the answer of the prayer. Hiyo ndiyo likuwa jibu ya maonga ya fanya. Hakupata uponyaji. Hakupata uponyaji. But this can heal people. Lakini ya ya naweza kukwaponya watu. Hallelujah. Do you understand this level of, of, of prayer was? Unaelewa haya hiki wango cha maonga. This guy can do 
Jesus. This guy can do everything. He just commands and everything can happen. He doesn't need to be praying. Let's pray this. The grace of God was sufficient to him. And he understood that and he got that amen. And when he was weak, is when the power of God will manifest. Let God manifest in you. Don't look what is not supposed to be yours. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Your car will break down. You don't have time to be sad. 